Across Africa, a wave of mega construction projects is driving the continent, and Tanzania is no exception to this trend. The Tanzania Construction Market Report outlines key opportunities across various construction project sectors, provides rare insight into industry performance, and provides forecasts on market direction. The country's construction industry contributed 8.3% to the country's GDP in the third quarter of 2022. The total market value of construction activity in 2023 is expected to reach Tanzanian shillings 22.8 trillion in 2023, about $9.5 billion. Tanzania's economy is quite stable, with GDP expected to grow by 6% by 2023. It is the 10th largest economy in Africa and the third largest in East Africa in terms of GDP. Tanzania is also one of the fastest growing economies in Africa and the world, with an average real GDP growth rate of 6.3 between 2010 and 2019. Construction activity is driven by projects, private projects such as residential and commercial real estate, as well as public projects, such as the construction of roads, railways, bridges, water systems, telecommunications networks, and air transport. Tanzania's economy is a lower-middle-income economy, primarily based on agriculture. Tanzania's economy has been in the process of transitioning from a command to a market economy since 1985. Although total GDP has increased since these reforms began, GDP per capita initially dropped sharply and only exceeded the pre-transition figure from around 2007. In 2020, Tanzania's real GDP per capita GDP increased by 4.8%, reaching $64.4 billion, compared to $60.8 billion in 2019. This growth made the country the second largest economy in East Africa after Kenya and the seventh largest in Sub-Saharan Africa. Little wonder why the country has embarked on huge construction projects recently to further boost her economic potential. Hello everyone, in this video we will introduce 25 mega projects in Tanzania. If you are new here, welcome, consider subscribing to our channel and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. 25. Hoimatanga Crude Oil Pipeline Topping this list of major projects in Tanzania is the Hoimatanga Crude Oil Pipeline Project, also known as the African Crude Oil Pipeline Project. The East African Oil Pipeline Project, EACOP, is a pipeline that will transport oil produced from the Lake Albert oil fields in Uganda to the port of Tanga in Tanzania, where it will be marketed. World School The pipeline is buried and once topsoil and vegetation are restored, people and animals will be able to move freely anywhere along its length. EECO spans 1,443 kilometers from Kabal in Uganda's Hoima district to the Changoliani Peninsula near Tanga Port in Tanzania. 80% of the pipeline is in Tanzania. It consists of a 24-inch insulated buried pipeline, along with six pumping stations, two in Uganda and four in Tanzania, terminating at Tanga with a terminal and wharf. Here crude oil will be loaded onto tankers. ECOP enables Uganda to extract value from its own natural resources and represents a significant inward investment of approximately $4 billion in Uganda and Tanzania, with value creation also extending to Tanzania. The new corridor connecting the two countries will bring benefits including new infrastructure development, logistics, technology transfer, as well as improved livelihoods of communities along the route. The pipeline is intended to transport crude oil from Uganda's oil fields to the Indian Ocean port of Tanga, Tanzania. This pipeline has a capacity of 216,000 barrels per day. In July 2016, it was announced that construction of the pipeline would begin in January 2017 and take 36 months. The pipeline is expected to be completed in 2020. In August 2017, Presidents Museveni of Uganda and Magufuli of Tanzania laid the project's symbolic foundation stone. In September 2020, the governments of Tanzania and Uganda signed an agreement on the construction of the pipeline. This agreement quickly follows the signing of a host government agreement between Uganda and Total Energies 
that protects the French company's rights and obligations in the construction and operation of the pipeline. 24. Julius Nyerer Hydroelectric Project The Julius Nyerer Hydroelectric Plant is a hydroelectric dam under construction on the Rufiji River in eastern Tanzania. Although controversial, the government approved the plan in 2018. The power plant is expected to have an installed capacity of 2,115 megawatts and produce 5,920 gigawatt hours of electricity per year. The project, power plant, and dam are owned and will be managed by the government-owned Tanzania Electricity Supply Company, TANESCO. Construction began in 2019 and is expected to be completed in 2024. The Tanzanian government has been planning to build this power plant since the 1960s. Once completed, this dam will be the fourth largest dam in Africa, the ninth largest in the world, and the largest power plant in East Africa. The 134-meter, 440-feet-high arch-shaped concrete dam is expected to create a reservoir 100 kilometers long, 1,200 kilometers squared wide, with 34 billion cubic meters of water. The project, power plant, and dam are owned and will be managed by the government-owned Tanzania Electricity Supply Company, TANESCO. The power plant is expected to produce 5,920 GW of electricity per year. In 2018, a new design for the Stiegler Canyon Dam was announced. A dam wall 131 meters high and 700 meters wide is under construction. The hydroelectric plant is expected to have an installed capacity of 2,115 megawatts. If completed on time in 2022, it will be the largest dam in Africa in terms of installed capacity, ahead of the Aswan High Dam in Egypt, the Korabasa Dam in Mozambique, and the Laka Dam in Angola. With a capacity of 2,115 megawatts, this dam's contribution is greater than Tanzania's current peak demand. The highest electricity demand recorded in the country was 1,051.27 megawatts in February 2017. Installed capacity is said to be between 1,366.60 megawatts and 1,602 MDO. As a result, the Stiegler's Gorge Hydropower Project will significantly increase the installed capacity of Tanzania's electricity grid, supporting the energy needed for industrialization and electrification. 23. Tanzania Mbolia Petrochemical Complex Tanzania Mbolia Petrochemical and Petrochemical Company, TMPC, a Tanzanian company specifically established to design, construct, and operate a fertilizer plant in the region Tanzania's Matwara, uses natural gas as raw material. Once completed, the plant will be the largest fertilizer manufacturing plant in Africa, with a capacity of 3.8 million tons of product per year. The plant is located on a 400-hectare site in Matwara, in the Matwara region in Tanzania's extreme southeast, close to major offshore gas plants. This is approximately 565 kilometer by road southeast of Dar es Salaam, Tanzania's largest city and commercial center. This is approximately 1,005 kilometers by road southeast of Dodoma, the country's capital. Tanzania Mbolia Petrochemical and Petrochemical Company is a special purpose vehicle company, SPVC, established in 2016 to design, construct, and operate the Mtwara fertilizer plant. TNPC Association includes 1. Tanzania Petroleum Development Corporation, TPDC 2. Ferrostal Industrial Projects of Germany 3. Halder Topsu as of Denmark and 4. Fonji Fertilizer Company Limited of Pakistan. This SPV will own 20% of the factory. Other potential investors in the factory include National Social Security Fund of Tanzania and Minjinga Mines. The factory is valued at $3 billion as of August 2017. The factory is expected to employ a total of 5,000 people during construction and manufacturing operations. Construction began in 2016, with commissioning expected in 2020. In 2021, 
the company began building a petrochemical complex in Lindy, Tanzania. As of August 2017, the factory was valued at $3 billion. 5,000 workers are anticipated to be employed by the plant during its construction and manufacturing phases. With a 2020 commissioning date anticipated, construction started in 2016. The business started constructing a petrochemical facility in Lindy, Tanzania in 2021. 22. Mitwara Fertilizer Factory Mitwara Fertilizer Factory is a proposed fertilizer factory located in the Mitwara region of southern Tanzania. Tanzania Emboria Petrochemical Company, TNPC, was established to design, construct, and operate a natural gas-based fertilizer production plant in the Mitwara region of Tanzania. Once completed, the plant will have an annual production capacity of 3.8 million tons and will be Africa's largest fertilizer production facility. The Mitwara Fertilizer Plant is located on a 400-hectare site in Mitwara, in the Mitwara region of southeastern Tanzania, near large offshore oil facilities. It is approximately 565 kilometers southeast of Dar es Salaam, Tanzania's commercial center and largest city. It is also located southeast of the capital Dodoma, approximately 1,005 kilometers by road. The country's permanent energy minister, Justin Tariqwa, said the country would build a $1.5 billion fertilizer factory in Mitwara once land issues are resolved. He said the government had already allocated land for development to Germany's helm. Ms. Ntalikwa also confirmed that the previous owners of the 989 hectares of land had been compensated. The local government has already started the initial process of infrastructure development at the Mtwara site. The plant will use natural gas as the main feedstock and will produce approximately 3,900 tons of urea and 2,200 tons of ammonia. Natural gas is extracted from Mtwara and other southern regions. Germany's Forostal Industrial Projects, Denmark's Haldor Topser AS and Pakistan's Fozzy Fertilizer Company Limited will jointly own 20% of the fertilizer plant, along with the state-owned Tanzania Petroleum Development Corporation, TPDC. Topso's CEO, Jern Clausen, said in an interview that he is very proud and honored to be part of the joint venture. Topso provides technical design, proprietary hardware, catalysts, licensing, and additional services. 21. Rusumo Hydroelectric Power Plant Rusumo Hydroelectric Power Plant, also known as Rusumo Power Plant, is a hydroelectric power plant under construction with an initial output of 80 megawatts when completed. The project involves the construction of a river design dam. A more expensive 90 megawatts reservoir design was considered but rejected in favor of an 80 megawatt project with lower environmental impact and an estimated cost of $300 million. The project was abandoned compared to $400 million. On August 6, 2013, the World Bank announced that it had approved a total loan of $340 million for the $468.6 million needed for the project. In November 2013, the African Development Bank approved him a $113 million loan to complete the project. The power plant is located along the Kajira River along the Rwanda-Tanzania border, about two kilometers downstream of the tri-border area, where the two countries share a border with Burundi. The project is located at Rusumo Falls, near the town of Rusumo, approximately 164.5 kilometers by road, southeast of Kigali, Rwanda's capital and largest city. As of April 2021, completion was anticipated in 2022, with one of the three power generating units expected online in the fourth quarter of 2021. As of June 2021, with 80% of the work completed, Commercial commissioning was anticipated in December 2021. During the second half of 2021, the Auditor Generals of the three impacted countries conducted audits that showed a 22% rise in expenditure over budget up to that point in the work plan. The projected percentage of work completed at the time was 81%. 95% of the work was completed as of August 2022. November 2022 is the projected completion date, and December 2022 is the projected commercial commissioning.
Commercial communication was rescheduled for the first quarter of 2023 later that month. 20. New Dodoma International Airport On October 30, 2022, Honorable Samia Solugu Hassan laid the foundation stone for the construction of a Salado International Airport in collaboration with the African Development Bank Country Director for Tanzania, Dr. Patricia Leverley. The Masalato International Airport project is part of the government's priority to move administrative functions from the commercial capital Dar es Salaam to the administrative capital Dodoma. The new airport aims to improve Dodoma's traffic connectivity with an expected annual capacity of around 50,000 aircraft and 1 million passengers, most of them international. The airport is expected to benefit East Africa's estimated regional population of more than 200 million and its international trade network, including business and leisure travelers. Related infrastructure includes a three-story terminal for departing and arriving passengers, with a capacity of 1,500,000 passengers per year. The main runway is 3,600 meter long, 60 meter wide, has two taxiways, two parking lots that can accommodate many a 330 aircraft at the same time. There are also arrival and departure gates, fences, airport roads, and parking lots. Other operational infrastructure includes control towers, radar equipment, fire stations and related fire suppression equipment, aircraft fueling stations, water supply and distribution systems, and dedicated power sources with backup, an alternative in the event of a mains power outage, and weather stations. Commenting on the project, Chairman Samia said, our goal is to increase trade competition with other countries in the East African region, the Southern African Development Community, SADC, and the world in general, as well as market development for our locality. Products The project is estimated to cost $329.47 million and is co-financed by AFDB, Africa Development Together Fund, and the Government of Tanzania. Construction work by Chinese state-owned hydropower engineering and construction company Sino Hydro and Perform, Beijing Construction Engineering. The airport will be built in two phases. The first phase will be completed in 36 months and includes the construction of the runway and terminal. The second phase will include passenger buildings and other infrastructure. 19. Dar es Salaam Port Expansion Tanzania signed an agreement on Sunday with Dubai's state-owned port operator, DP World, to transport part of Dar es Salaam port for 30 years, an agreement previously opposed by Tanzania's opposition and human rights groups. Plastus Mbasa, chief executive of the state-owned Tanzania Ports Authority, TPA, which currently manages the port, said DP World will lease and operate four of the 12 berths at the country's largest port. Dar es Salaam also serves landlocked countries in East and Southern Africa, such as Uganda, Rwanda, Burundi, and copper producer Zambia. He said the government has signed the Host Government Agreement, HEA, as well as leasing and operating agreements with DP World to operate berths four to seven at the port. He said the government was looking for other investors to operate terminals 8 to 11. According to Mbasa, DP World's performance will be assessed every five years for the course of the 30-year contract. He said the partnership with DP World will improve the port's efficiency and effectiveness by reducing cargo clearance times and increasing the port's capacity to handle 130 ships per month from the current 90 ships. In June, Congress passed a resolution ratifying the bilateral agreement between Tanzania and the Emirate of Dubai have paved the way for concrete agreements between the Tanzania Ports Authority, TPA, and DP World. However, the agreement sparked opposition from the public, including the Catholic Church, lawyers, activists, and opposition politicians, who said the terms favored DP World and offered little benefit to Tanzania. President Samia Soluhu Hassan said her administration had considered all views during the negotiations with DP World. DP World's chairman and chief executive sultan, Ahmed bin Sulaim, said at the signing ceremony in the capital Dodoma that the company will invest $250 million over the next five years to upgrade the port, 
focusing on improving cargo clearing systems and eliminating delays. Dar es Salaam handles more than 18 million tons of cargo per year of which 6.8 million tons is containerized, but Transport Minister Prof Mikami Barawa said on May 23 that TPA has handled 20.8 million tons by April this year. About 200,000 imported vehicles are offloaded at the Dar es Salaam port per year for Tanzania and other neighboring countries, mostly Rwanda, Burundi, Zambia, and DR Congo. 18 DM Gateway Project The 357 million Dar es Salaam Maritime Gateway DNGP project appears to have paid off. The World Bank has ranked Dar above its main regional competitor, Mombasa, in a new port efficiency ranking. The port of Dar es Salaam has risen to 312th position in the Container Port Performance Index 2022, compared with Mombasa's 326th position in the survey of 348 ports worldwide, making it the preferred facility. Preferred by East African shippers, Djibouti ranked 26th and the port of Berbera, Somalia ranked 144th. The 2021 CPPI report ranked the port of Mombasa 296th and Dar es Salaam 316th. The news was welcomed in Tanzania, although it comes at a time when lawmakers are pushing to privatize the port to increase efficiency. Dar port managers attribute this success to infrastructure improvements and capacity building, which helped address the facility's physical and operational limitations. This comes on the back of a $345 million credit facility provided by the International Development Association's Scaling Facility and a $12 million grant dispersed from the UK Department for International Development in 2017. Containerization has led to significant changes in shipping, a trend that is expected to change continued with digitization. The World Bank says container ports are key nodes in global supply chains and are essential to the growth strategies of many emerging economies. In many cases, the development of high-quality container port infrastructure is a prerequisite for export-led growth. DNGP also supported the reconstruction and deepening of berths from 1 to 7 to 14.5 meters so that the port can now handle large ships, compared to an average water level of 8 meters before the expansion. In addition, the project also improves railway foundations and connections in the port, ensuring the smooth evacuation of goods. The efforts of the Tanzania Ports Authority TPA over the past two years to implement President Samia Hassan's vision to make Tanzania a regional hub have also contributed greatly to the port's efficiency. 17. Song Hydroelectric Project One of the newest projects, still in the proposal stage, is the SHP project. Songmi is a 370.20 megawatt hydroelectric project in Mubia, Tanzania. Tanzania Electric Supply is developing this project. It is expected that the project will be put into operation in 2027. The project is currently in the announced stage. It is owned by Tanzania Electric Supply. This is a hydroelectric plant project. Expected installed capacity after completion is 180 mW. Other related developments include the construction of more dams for power generation and irrigation, as well as the establishment of a joint river basin management authority. The power plant is the first to be developed by the Song River Basin Joint Commission, which is jointly owned by the government of Tanzania and the government of Malawi. The design of the power plant envisages the creation of a reservoir that will be used for electricity generation and irrigation purposes in both countries. As of May 2017, feasibility studies and environmental and social impact assessments ESIA, have been completed. The final design has been agreed upon. Funding commitments from potential investors were sought. The African Development Bank AFDB, funded the design and feasibility studies. The final design report is expected to be issued by the end of 2015. Further administrative and financial matters will be finalized in 2016. Construction is expected to begin then and be completed. Completed in 2022. Each country will be allocated 90 megawatts for this project. 
The total cost of the project is estimated at $829 million, divided equally between the two countries. ADB has expressed its willingness to sponsor this project. 16. Ruhoji Hydropower Plant Project Ruhoji Hydropower Plant is a 358 megawatts hydroelectric plant in Tanzania. The main developer of this renewable energy project is Tanzania Electricity Supply Company Limited, TNESCO, the state-owned electricity company. TNESCO plans to develop the power plant through a public-private partnership, PPP project. Work continues in parallel on the 222 megawatt development. Rumikale Hydroelectric Power Station, also located in the Njomb region. The project is being developed by Aldwych International and Tanzania Electric Supply. These companies also hold shares in the project. The estimated hydropower reservoir capacity is 269 million cubic meters. The total height of the project will be 765 meters. The project is expected to produce 1,928 gigawatt hour of electricity. The hydroelectric project includes four turbines. Each turbine has a nominal capacity of 89.5 megawatt. The $6 million feasibility study and tender document preparation contract was awarded to a consortium comprising Norwegian engineering companies, Multiconsult as main contractor, Norplan Tanzania Limited, and Tanzania Photomap Limited as subcontractor. Work includes feasibility studies for two proposed hydroelectric dams and power plants, preparation of conceptual designs and bidding documents, as well as carrying out environmental and social impact assessment studies for two power plants and related evacuated transmission lines. It is expected that construction of the project will begin in 2028. After that, the project will enter commercial operations in 2031. 15. Phase 2 DAR Rapid Transit Authority Project on, on April 24, 2015, the DAR Rapid Transit Authority, DARP, signed a contract with UDART to provide temporary services of the DAR S. Salam Rapid Transit System. UDART is a special purpose company established by UDA and two Daladal associations, DAR S. Salam Commuter Bus Owners Association and UBDAR, to provide temporary agency services. The temporary service is intended to provide training for future operators and strengthen local capacity. During temporary operations, private Daladalas still operate on these routes. Phase 2 of the DAR as Salam Bus Rapid Transit BRT project includes the construction of infrastructure, including 20.3 km of dedicated BRT lanes and non-motorized transport, NMT facilities along along Kilwa Corridor and part of Kawoa Road. The project corridor passes through the Mbagala area in Tamake District to the Central Business District where it connects to Phase 1 of the BRT system in Central Kariaku. The provision of the BRT system is expected to directly improve traffic flow and eliminate traffic congestion to various economic activity centers such as industrial parks and large, densely populated residential areas in Tamik City. Therefore, the proposed project will have a positive impact on formal and informal businesses by providing them with better accessibility and better roadside air quality. It is further estimated that by improving the current road and public transport system, the annual rate of greenhouse gas emissions in tons will be reduced by at least 60% due to the average traffic speed along the corridor improved project and especially the use of modern large buses. Use modern technology and cleaner fuel in the BRT system. The project will be implemented over a period of four years. Total cost excluding taxes is $159.32 million. 14. Samia Complex Construction Project Dodoma City is expected to pick up pace thanks to the much-anticipated Samia Complex Project. According to Tanzanian head of state, Samia Soluhu Hassan, this complex will be one of a kind. The complex will have a large hall that can accommodate 2,000 to 3,000 people. According to Dr. Samia, within the complex, the government will also build housing for very important persons, VIPs. 
VIPs will be able to stay in the area and feel comfortable, especially in the neighboring East African community, EAC. In addition, the Southern African Development Community, SADC, will be widely considered. The chairman said the drawings had been done, says construction work will start any moment. According to Dr. Samia, within the complex, the government will also build housing for very important persons, VIPs who can stay in the area and feel comfortable, especially the African Community EEC and the adjacent Southern African Development Community ZADC. 13. Lindy Jumbo Graphite Project Walkabout Resources Lindy Jumbo Project in Southern Tanzania is expected to begin operating the Lindy Jumbo Graphite Project in late 2023. Positioning it to become a graphite mine is operating next in the country. Led by a management team with over 20 years of experience successfully developing projects in Tanzania and Africa, Lindy Jumbo offers investors short-term production opportunities with attractive economic conditions. The processing plant is specifically designed for the unique mineralization at Lindy Jumbo. With an average flake size distribution 75% greater than 180 microns on site, the plant is designed to optimize the recovery of these high-value large and large-sized flakes. Compact and efficient by industry standards, the plant features an integrated five-stage comminution and flotation process. The total area covers only 30,000 square meters. The adjacent tailing storage facility provides capacity for the mine's initial operating life of 24 years. In addition to maximizing the recovery of large pieces, the plant's 34,000 tons per year capacity has the potential to expand to 50,000 tons without additional investment. Further optimization can increase production to 60,000 tons per year. This provides the flexibility to gradually increase production to meet market demand. A recent milestone was securing a $20 to $25 million loan from the UK's Export Finance Agency. This is the first foreign loan financing for a mining project in Tanzania in 20 years. It provides the remaining capital needed to complete construction and begin operations. In addition to borrowing, Lindy Jumbo has signed an offtake agreement with Wogan for the first five years of production. This includes a $3.2 million working capital facility on product loading, which helps fund operations. Fully funded position reduces implementation risk and delivers first revenue in 2023. 12. The Liganga Songo Songo Gas Pipeline the Liganga Songo Songo Gas Pipeline is an important infrastructure project in Tanzania, built to assist natural gas transportation from the Liganga and Mbinga coal mines in the country's south to Songo Songo Island, where a gas processing plant is located. The pipeline is an important aspect of Tanzania's strategy for utilizing its natural resources for economic growth, particularly in the energy industry. Natural gas extracted from the mines of Liganga and Mbinga contains valuable hydrocarbons that can be used for a variety of reasons, including electricity generation and industrial applications. This pipeline project is critical to increasing Tanzania's energy independence, lowering reliance on imported fuels, and encouraging economic growth. The pipeline facilitates the efficient extraction and usage of natural gas resources by connecting the gas-rich southern regions to the processing infrastructure on Songo Songo Island. As a result, the country's energy balance becomes more diverse, supporting sustainability and resilience in the face of global energy concerns. The successful completion of the Liganga Songo Songo gas pipeline not only meets Tanzania's internal energy demands, but also positions the country as a potential gas exporter, allowing for cash production and economic progress. 11. The Songo Songo Gas to Liquids GTL Project The Songo Songo Gas to Liquids GTL project is a game-changer in Tanzania's energy environment, seeking to convert natural gas extracted from the Songo Songo Island into liquid fuels like diesel and jet fuel. This project is a strategic reaction to the increasing demand for cleaner, more diverse energy sources, and it aligns with worldwide efforts to cut carbon emissions and improve energy efficiency. The Songo Songo project, by leveraging innovative GTL technology, 
not only contributes to the diversification of Tanzania's energy portfolio, but also provides a sustainable option for addressing the country's transportation and industrial fuel needs. The Songo Songo GTL project entails the development of a cutting-edge gas processing facility that will use fischer troch synthesis and other modern techniques to transform methane-rich natural gas into high-quality liquid hydrocarbons. This game-changing technology improves the usage of Tanzania's rich natural gas resources while also addressing energy security concerns and boosting economic development. Furthermore, as compared to traditional fuel sources, the generation of cleaner liquid fuels from natural gas can contribute to a reduction in greenhouse gas emissions, harmonizing with global environmental goals. The Songo Songo GTL project exemplifies how innovative technology can be used to unlock the full potential of natural gas resources, fostering sustainable energy solutions for the benefit of both the country and the region. Ten. Bagamoyo Port Construction Project Bagamoyo Port, or Bagamoyo Port, Bandari Ya Bagamoyo, in Swahili, is one of the oldest ports in Tanzania. The port is located in Bagamoyo Town, Bagamoyo District, Pwani Region. The port served as the main entrance to the Zanzibar Canal, leading to the historic town of Bagamoyo, before the establishment and expansion of the port of Dar es Salaam in the 1860s. A major reconstruction and expansion of the port of Bagamoyo is expected. Built in the mid-20th century, 2020s, this is expected to be one of the largest government infrastructure projects in the country. The plan places emphasis on productive activities that rely on water-based resources include fishing, offshore prospecting and extraction of oil and gas, tourism, fish farming, aquaculture, shipping and maritime transport, seabed extractive industries, marine biotechnology, bioprospecting, and offshore renewable energy. Furthermore, luring investment into water-based resources requires strong marine peace and security frameworks. In order to attract both domestic and foreign investors and boost this sector's contribution to the national economy, the government is putting in place favorable business and investment conditions through the implementation of this strategy. The project is anticipated to be completed in 24 months, Deputy Minister of Livestock and Fisheries, Abdallah Yuliga recently informed the National Assembly. Ali Kassinj, the MP for Kilwa South, asked a fundamental question of the Deputy Minister, requesting an answer on when the strategic initiative will begin. Zero 09. Tanzania Electric Railway Project Tanzania's electric trains can reach speeds of 160 km per hour, a test run on the new standard gauge railway SGR between Dar es Salaam and Morogoro has shown. These trials are the first ambitious project that Tanzania has promoted since April 2017. The dar Morogoro line, 300 km long, is the first phase of the SGR project, which is expected to extending to Mwanza on the shore of Lake Victoria and Kigoma on the northeastern shore of Lake Tanganyika in five stages. There are plans to add connections to Rwanda, Burundi, and the Democratic Republic of Congo under the East Africa Railway Master Plan. Once operational, SGR trains running at an average speed of 160 km per hour will reduce the time between Dar and Morogoro to about two hours, compared to four hours by bus and five hours by train. The old metric system is the same as it is today. Rail 4,444 railway lines will have overhead power lines added to supply electricity to trains and rolling stock. The second phase of the SGR project extends from Morogoro to Mekutapora, 422 km long. The line was extended to Tabora. 294 km away as part of the third phase. The fourth phase will connect Tabora to Osaka, a 130 km route where it will branch to Mwanza and Kigoma. On Sunday, a Tanzanian government spokesperson shared on social media a short clip of the train during testing. Two electric locomotive engines were purchased by Turkish construction company Yapi Merkezi for test use on the line. The reviews, which began in May, are expected to be completed in 2024.
8. Kishapu Solar Power Plant Kishapu Solar Power Station is a 50-megawatt solar power plant proposed in Tanzania. The power plant is being developed by Tanzania Electricity Supply Company Limited, TNDSCO, the national electricity monopoly. Energy will be fed into the national grid, also operated by TANDSCO. The solar park will be developed in stages with a capacity of up to 150 MDO. Once completed and operational, it will become the largest grid-connected solar power plant in the country. The power plant will be located in Kishapu District, Shinyanga region of Tanzania. Kishapu Town, the district capital, is located about 58 km east of Shinyanga, the regional capital. Kishapu is located approximately 536 km northwest of Dodoma, the capital of Tanzania. The solar park is surrounded on one side by the 220 kV Singita Shinyanga high voltage power line. The power plant will be developed in phases, with a maximum production capacity in the first phase of 50 M billion. The solar park helps Tanzania diversify its electricity production mix with clean, carbon dioxide free energy. Another goal is to modernize the TANESCO network. A new national cyber control center will be established in Dodoma. A distribution control center with distribution management system will also be installed in key urban areas including Arusha, Dodoma, Mbia, and Mwanza. 7. Sumbawanga Airport Construction Project Construction of the existing Sumbawanga Airport, located in the Rukwa region, one of the 31 administrative regions of Tanzania, will begin after completion of exploration work as Mjini Mwanga, Administrative Region Representative. The director just revealed. Director of Tanzania National Roads Authority, TANMRADS. TANRO ADS is an executive agency within the East African country's Ministry of Works, Transport and Communications, responsible for maintaining and developing the classified road network of mainland Tanzania. Notably, Sumbawanga Airport was originally built as a post-World War II airport and modernization and redevelopment plans were launched by the Tanzanian government about 10 years ago with the aim of turning the airport into an economic development center capable of developing, especially the agriculture and tourism potential of the host region. 6. Kakano Hydropower Project Kakano Power Station is a river-based hydropower plant with an expected installed capacity of 87.8 MW when completed. The project will include the construction of a roller-compacted concrete gravity dam. The new infrastructure includes a new above-ground power plant, an adjacent substation, a new 39-kV long 220-kV high-voltage transmission line, and a 220-kV and 33 kV substation new at Kiaka, where electricity is produced. In Kakano will be transported against Tanzania. The power station is located across the Kajira River in the Kajira region, close to the international border with Uganda. This location is approximately 90 km west of the lake town of Bukoba. New power stations will be built on the Kajira River, downstream of the 80 MW Rusumu hydropower station the 16-megawatt Kikagadi Hydropower Station and the 39-megawatt Nshungiezi Hydropower Station. According to reliable online sources, development of this renewable energy infrastructure project commenced on April 1, 2023, and is expected to be commercially operational no later than December 31, 2028. The implementing agency is TANNESCO, Tanzania Electricity Supply Company. Among the benefits expected to flow from the construction and operation of this dam is the provision of approximately 524 gigawatt hour of clean electrical energy per year to Tanzanian people, businesses, and industry. This will reduce annual emissions by approximately 216,000 tons of carbon dioxide. This power plant is part of the Tanzanian government's goal to produce at least 5,000 megawatt of electricity by 2025. 5. Pemba Airport Expansion Project 
Located on the island of Pemba, Zanzibar, Tanzania, the project $428 million to expand and upgrade an existing airport, Pemba Airport, approximately 3 kilometers southeast of the town of Chaikchaik on the island of Pemba in the Zanzibar Triclago, Tanzania. These works include widening and expanding the runway, taxiway loops, apron, terminal facilities, new access roads including double-decker, and general utilities. Land take will be required for the expanded airport boundary. The project's objectives include enhancing mobility and connectivity on the island, encouraging employment through construction and operation, increasing tourism, facilitating exports, and driving economic development. Zanzibar's 103.5-kilometer road projects cover Unguja's South Region's 48-kilometer Tungu Makadunchi Road, West Urban Region's 12-kilometer Kisani Fumba Road, and the 43.5-kilometer Mkoni Chake Chake Pemba Road. Speaking at the signing ceremony, Zanzibar's Minister of State, Ens Saddam Kuya Salam, said it was the first financing secured by the island state since its 1964 revolution, and that it took several years before willing partners could be found to fund the project. The Unguja and Pemba Islands are among Zanzibar's tourist destinations, and the road projects are expected to not only make road travel safer and more comfortable for the locals, but also to boost tourism on the islands. Four, project to construct 110.2 kilometer outer ring road for Dodoma City. This project is a direct response to the need to improve logistics services to accommodate expected population growth and the expansion of economic activities in the political capital of Dodoma. It includes the construction to bitumen standards of a new 110.2-kilometer two-lane outer ring road around Tanzania's capital Dodoma. The project provides critical infrastructure needed for the more efficient development of the rapidly growing Dodoma metropolitan area. Furthermore, it will also significantly boost the regional integration of Tanzania and its neighboring countries, as the project site is located at the intersection of two major road corridors on the continent. The project's immediate beneficiaries include residents of Dodoma Town, its suburbs and surrounding rural areas, with a population of about 2.4 million, of which about one-third 0.8 million people live in cities. This project will benefit road users, local, regional, and international traffic, including farmers traveling to and through Dodoma Town through reduced congestion. 3. Mbamba Bay Port Construction Project Nairobi The Tanzania Ports Authority TPA has invited international companies to bid for the construction of the Mbamba Bay Wharf to facilitate the transportation of goods to Malawi and Mozambique. Construction work on the Mbamba Jetty is expected to begin this year. The project includes the construction of a 1,000-kilometer railway connecting Matwara Port with Mbamba Bay via iron ore mines in Kuchuma and Liganga. The railway will complement all the coal and iron mining operations in Kuchuma and Liganga and make Tanzania's coal and iron exports more attractive internationally. 2. New Lycongo Machinga Liquefied Natural Gas Plant Tanzania Liquefied Natural Gas Project, also Lycongo Machinga Liquefied Natural Gas Project, is a gas processing plant planned natural liquefaction in Tanzania. The factory will be located on an area of about 2,071.705 hectares in Lycongo Village in the Indian Ocean coastal town of Lindi about 461 kilometers south of Dar es Salaam. It is about 103 kilometer by road northwest of Matwara, the nearest major town. Tanzania has proven natural gas reserves of 57 trillion cubic feet, including at least 49.5 trillion cubic feet offshore in the Indian Ocean. The government of Tanzania, through the Tanzania Petroleum Development Corporation, in partnership with BG Group, Equinor, ExxonMobil, and Ofer Energy plans to build an onshore liquefied natural gas export terminal at the Lindy site this. In May 2019, the East African newspaper reported that construction was expected to begin in 2022 and be completed in 2028, 
as announced by Tanzanian Energy Minister Medard Kalamani. In June 2022, the Tanzanian government signed an agreement with Equinor of Norway and British Shell, restarting discussions and negotiations to advance the project. Final Investment Decision FID of this project, whose development cost is projected at $30 billion, is now expected in 2025. One, Tanzania's Kigongo Buzisi Bridge on Lake Victoria. Kigongo Buzisi Bridge, also known as Mwanza Bay Bridge, is a bridge under construction in Tanzania. When completed as planned in 2024, it will stretch 3.2 kilometers across Mwanza Bay, connecting the areas of Kigongo in the Mwanza region and Buzisi in the Gaeta region, thereby reducing crossing times from 35 minutes by ferry to four minutes left by car. It will be the longest bridge in East Africa and the sixth longest bridge on the African continent. The bridge is part of the T4 Tanzania National Highway. As part of this road infrastructure project, a 35 kilometers paved road will be built to connect the eastern end of the bridge with the town of Mwanza. Before the construction of this bridge, there was no road connecting Kigongo and Bazizi. The ferry is the only means of connection between the two sides. The ferry takes 35 minutes to cover the distance, but preparing in advance, boarding, traveling, and disembarking can take up to three hours. An average of 1,600 cars cross Mwanza Bay by ferry every 24 hours. When construction commenced in December 2019, the contract price was 699 billion Tanzanian shillings, fully funded by the Tanzanian government, with initial completion scheduled for 2023. As of July 2021, work progress is 27%. At that time, the contract price was $308.88 million. The newly announced completion date is 2024. That brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching and drop your comments. Let's know your thoughts on these projects and how it affects Tanzania. Also, are there any more projects you think we left out? The best comment will be pinned.